Good morning everybody, this is Nate over at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Got another video for you today. Today we have a 24 Winnebago View, 24V. So we're gonna take a look at some of the outside features. We'll get on the inside. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's get started. So right off the bat here, I'm in the shop today, so if it's a little noisy, I apologize. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice that large power awning and you do have an LED light strip that goes all the way down below here. We'll go around to the front. And this does have that full body paint on it, which I really like here too. And it is more of a, a silver color. So again, I came from the car industry and I've mentioned that in a few of my other videos here, but I like this paint because it shows less dirt and less scratches. So that's another plus side to things here. And actually, since we're right up front here, I'll cover this a little bit more in detail. It's a little bit dark, but you can't see. So there is, uh, you do have your adaptive cruise control sensor that's in the windshield there as well. So a nice safety feature of this vehicle. I'll take a step back here. We'll get a look at the mirrors. And you do have that step down below to get into your passenger seat. Can't wait to get on the inside of this. And those are power steps. When you do open and close the door, those do retract. So we're gonna have some outside storage here. It's a little bit darker here, but this is your storage pocket here. We get our QG 3600 LP generator. And you do have some storage in here as well and there's another pocket for when you're at the rear of this vehicle you have storage from that angle or from this angle here you do have your bright light here so you'll be able to find exactly what you need and before we go all the way around i'm just going to do a quick glance over here loving the paint job on this so coming around to the back again my back's kind of against the garage door here so i'm working with what i got we got our ladder to get up on top of the roof we do have our backup camera up top, another safety feature there. And this is an exit window here, coming down. Here's that other store, here's that storage I was just mentioning on right there. You do have it from this angle here as well. So two people could store something at the exact same time. Coming on down, you do have a hitch from the factory. Moving on over. Again, sorry, my back's kind of against the garage door here, but I'm working with what I got. So I'll do the best I can to show you everything. Here's the rear. We got a side profile here. Other side, because there's a slide when it's opened. So we'll have our furnace and our hot water heater here. Storage down below for your power cord. And you do have your hookups here and your tank drains. The furnace. Black water tank flush inlet right here. Again, sorry if it's a little bit noisy today. Coming down below, we're gonna have our black waste tank drain. Moving down. Off to the left here, we do have our propane. And then we come up to the driver's side here. So let's get on the inside. We'll see what you think here. I wanna go over some things on the steering wheel again, cause I came from the car industry, but a uh, very nice infotainment system, very user friendly, but I'm gonna sit in the driver's seat and then I'll hop out, we'll walk, uh, walk around and we'll take a look at the kitchen, uh, entertainment area, things like that. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's get started. So do have your seat adjustments here, heated seats as well, standard locks and windows here. And then again, I mentioned you know, for your safety features here, you do have your adaptive cruise control here, and you do have your lane keep assist here as well to measure the distance between cars, keep you nice and safe in your lane. And you do have your standard Bluetooth controls on the right side here as well, as another, uh, also to have uh, information to update your, uh, go through items on your dashboard, things like that there. 
really nice infotainment system that we got here. I really like that. Again, very user friendly. Here's the dash. And then you'll see off to the passenger side here, you do have your cushion. So when you're sitting on that, you know, your legs aren't touching the ground, but these are very comfortable. I'm sitting on one on the driver's seat right now. So there's some more information on the top here for you. I'm gonna hop out and we'll go right around to the inside. All right, so stepping on into the 24V. So right off the bat, we're gonna see everything that's kind of hidden off to the left here. You have your lights, everything else. But when I come down, you're gonna have your awning, coach battery. And then of course, you're gonna have your disconnect here as well. So again, that stays a little bit hidden, but I kind of like this here. So, you know, no one's gonna step by it and kick uh, any of the icons down below, things like that. So fire extinguisher off to the right. Stepping on in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a look at, you know, from standing back by the TV kitchen area, this is what we have to work with for your driver passenger area. Off to the right of that, we do have a ladder because up above your driver passenger area, you do have your bed for sleeping. And then of course you do have multiple power outlets in the back for device charging, anything you might need. We got a lot of room to work with up here. Definitely sleep too comfortably. And then you do have a light up above. So you can see we do have the blue light. And we do have our regular light. Nice little option there. We do have our vent up above. And then I'm going to turn around. So we're going to see our kitchen area here. Along with our TV slash sound bar. We have our smoke detector. And we do have our AC unit right there. But when I turn around here, again down below you're going to have more uh, GFCI outlets. We're going to have our recliners here, dual recliners. So you can sit down and watch the TV directly across from you. You do have your dual shades on this. Doing this with one hand a little bit hard, but I'm glad I got it for you guys. So you can definitely darken out the room so you can enjoy the movie that you're watching on your TV. Now with these, uh, with these drawers here, you'll note, well, it's not doing it right now. See, it's locked, but you'll notice I'm pulling on it. It's not going to open. You actually have to press these buttons and then pull open here and that's just so nothing's going to rattle around and burst through the drawer when you're driving down the road so i think that's just really cool and these are soft closes so nothing's going to slam or anything like that so we do have your storage information on this unit in your mat or in your uh, little pocket right there we do have our thermostat and then again pressing these buttons to open up the storage got a lot of storage to work with here for your kitchen side of things. We got our cooking station right here. Lots of storage in the kitchen to work with. Deep storage pockets, pots, pans, plates, anything you might need. Microwave right at eye level. And then what's really cool with this, uh, with this TV soundbar station, it's a little bit hidden. But you can actually open this up and you'll see your uh, Sony wireless and then uh, you also have your paper towel holder as well that also drops down. But not a ton of storage but a secret compartment for all your uh, uh, you know DVDs that might want to go up here and then you'll also have your cable satellite hookups here. I like that because none of the wires are going to crisscross, none of the wires are going to get in the way, in the way, things like that. So, but again a soft close. Nice feature. So coming back around, or actually, I didn't go over the sink. So you do have your sink here. And doing this with one hand here, you'll see we got a deeper sink. Sorry, that's a little bit loud. And you'll see the same thing here. Coming on down, you will have your lights uh, for the center aisle that I'm in right now, if I can do it, find the right one. You'll notice that I don't know if you'll be able to notice in the video, but when I flip the switch down, the lights get a little bit dimmer. If I put it to the middle position, they shut off. And then if I put it to the upward position, it's at its maximum brightness. So kind of cool little feature for that as well. Looking at our fridge freezer. You have storage up above. I'm sorry, no storage up above. 
I, I tricked myself. You'll have your slide operation here. Sorry about that. I got ahead of myself. Your solar charge controller and then your holding tank heater off to the left here. My mistake. Here's our fridge. And then I'm going to step around here because we'll take a look at the bathroom. A little bit of storage down below the sink. A little bit of a larger sink. I like that. Got our lights. GFCI outlets in here as well. And then off to the left by the toilet, you'll have your water pump, your mirror, your fan, medicine cabinet here, which I think still has enough storage to, you know, have, um, you know, toothpaste, bathroom items, things like that. And then of course we do have our shower. I really like the shower layout on this. Plenty of room to stand up in here. Lots of room to work with. Coming over into the bedroom area. So the way this is set up right now is you do have two areas to sleep in, but this additional cushion actually comes over right here to make a larger sleeping setup. But going over some of the storage, I mean, you'll have tables and things like that that also hook up, but this is a larger storage area for clothes, anything else that you're gonna need, which I'm actually glad that this is in here so you can kind of see if this box is pushed back a little bit more, you can actually store a little bit more. Down below storage. And we got a lot to work with going across the top. Storage in here. Storage in here. You got these lights scattered throughout. Exit windows as well, so it's really cool to see those white and blue lights. A little bit of versatility. Lots of room to work with in the sleeping area back here. Really enjoy this layout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this uh, cushion over, again, doing it with one hand here, but I really like the fact that this, t I mean, this TV is stationed right here. So if you do have this bed set up all the way, so if I wanted to relax, again, I'm all the way back you know, if I want to relax, I could pull these shades off to my left here. I have my pillow and blanket behind me. I'm nice and comfortable. Shades are down there and behind me as well. You know, I could darken out the room here, but I could just watch whatever I want to watch. I can enjoy things. And I'm, my feet aren't hanging over the edge. My feet aren't kicking the TV or anything like that. It's just a cool setup, a really nice relaxing setup. And you have to be in it to experience it, but I feel really comfortable. I feel really at home in this floor plan. It's a new one for me, but I'm really digging it. I'm really enjoying it. So standing up here from the bedroom area, just get one final walk through. Kitchen area here, looking forward. Bathroom one more time. Shower. Again, you have plenty of room to stand up in. And here's the shower door. Moving forward, taking one more look at that entertainment area. Looking up, turning around, because then I'm sitting down here. I can enjoy my sound bar. I can enjoy my TV. And don't forget the secret storage behind that. Really cool. And then one more time with the driver area here. Really nice layout. Lots of room up here to sleep. Very nice floor plan. So that's going to do it. a little bit longer, 14 and a half minutes I'm at right now, but a little bit longer video, but I really wanted to get this one out for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, just let me know what you think. I'd be happy to uh, schedule an appointment with anyone. Happy to go to work for you. Uh, all my contact information is going to be in the description box below. My name is Nate Green from Bullying RV. My number is 218-740-4965. Thank you everybody for tuning in and like usual, I'll catch you in the next one.